Java tutorial number 23, which is uh, drawing different components inside uh, Swing. So we're going to talk about just basic drawing stuff. So you know lines, rectangles, things like that, maybe even a little picture or something. And then we'll get into, you know, um, some data structure stuff and then we'll port our other programs to um, to uh, Swing. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new class that extends the J component in order to draw stuff. So we're going to call that uh, draw component. And this super class is going to be um, J component. Java dot x, Java x dot swing, and then we're going to want a. Are we going to want a main? No, we are not. We are not going to want a main. Okay, so hit finish on that. So there we have draw component, and uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to create a public void class, public void paint component graphics G now what we're doing here is we're basically passing in graphics G and we're gonna need to import a whole bunch of different stuff import Java dot awt dot graphics import Java dot awt dot graphics 2d import Java dot awt dot rectangle and now that should be we got four we got four okay so we're good oh I didn't uh... okay so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this pink component and this is the first thing that's called when we're going to refer to it in our other class empty frame and this is the first time actually we've been jumping across classes so I'm gonna go pretty slow with this so we're going to say graphics uh, 2D is G2, and then we're going to um, typecast that to graphics 2D. Now, basically what we did there is we typecast graphics 2D from G, and G is right here, graphics G. So we're changing from graphics, typecasting, and graphics 2D in order for it to accept it. And then we're going to do a rectangle box equals new rectangle 5, 10, 20, 30. Now, basically what this is, is this is the location x, y, and this is the width and height, I believe. Now, that's a pretty standard for uh, that type of thing. So we're going to go over all different kinds of stuff. We're going to go over circles, ellipses, lines, colors, and yeah. Okay, so after we done did that, we're going to give, uh, we're going to tell G2 to draw that. Oops, draw that box, which is this type identifier, and then we're going to tell it to box dot translate fifteen twenty five. Now this is going to move it fifteen over the right, twenty five up, and we're going to say G2 dot draw box. And then we're going to see what happens when we take this and we and we quote it out. Now we're going to go back to our J frame, which is the empty frame. Uh, we're not going to change the name, even though it's not going to be empty anymore. And then we're going to tell it to draw that component. We're going to tell rectangle, com or we called it uh, draw component. Draw component. Uh, component equals new draw component. We're going to tell frame dot add component. All right. Now we got no errors. It's just, we're going to run this, but it's not going to. It should just. Yeah. 
here it goes there it is so here's the first rectangle and here it is translated so let's go ahead and see what happens if we quote this guy out and there's a single rectangle so I guess what this guy does is over 15 and down 25 so I'll actually what I'll do is let me see if I could run them side to side okay so here's the first one let me bring this down so you guys could see it so here's the first one and here's the second one and you can see it was translated and moved down so that's the translate command if you want to see other commands to mess around with it just do box and then hit the dot and it'll tell you all the different types of things that you can do which you can see there's a lot okay now uh, let's go ahead and go move on to ellipses and circles so what we're going to want to do with ellipses and circles is where you could set the um, okay so what we're going to do is here instead of rectangle we're gonna call it it is of type ellipse oops ellipse 2d dot double I'm gonna call this a uh, circle and then we're gonna call this ellipse oops we'll call this ellipse 2d dot by the way this double is supposed to be capitalized D and we're gonna probably want to import that yep import this there we go pulled it in and we're gonna call this uh, uh, we're gonna call this circle I'm gonna call this circle now uh, what we could do here is we're going to let's do this we're gonna call it 5 10 100 and 150 now this is going to be an actual ellipse it's not gonna be a circle if you want the circle you just set these both equal so this is diameter to one side and this diameter to the other side so if you set those equal well, let's just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like so there you go there it is there's an ellipse now that's drawn there if you want a circle then you could do five by five uh, five five actually no that's not it this this is the position so this is X and Y on the frame so you would set this guy to 150 150 and it will do a nice circle there's a nice circle perfect perfect circle 15 one uh, 15 width diameter and 15 uh, 150 height diameter and 150 width diameter so it's exactly perfect now let's go ahead and take a look at how to draw a line alright so uh, we're gonna keep these guys here we're gonna end up drawing a face as it shows here in my book I don't know this off the top of my head so yes I am using my book here uh, we're gonna say um, line 2d dot double and we're just gonna call this the mouth equals new line 2d dot double 30 110 80 110 and we're gonna set this back to a hundred And we're gonna say G2 draw circle. I don't know why it says G2 G2 draw circle a second time. And then we're gonna say mouth. So we're gonna call this uh, rename this to head. And rename this guy to head. And then run it. And there's the mouth. Okay. All right. So that's a line. Uh, basically, the line is the X. The starting X position, the starting Y position, and then um, from where to where, I believe. Let me make sure I got this right. Okay, so yeah, this is the starting position. 30, 110. So 30X, 110Y. And then well, where we want to end it is 80 on the X. 
and 110 on the Y. So the Y doesn't change, so it's a straight line, and it's a straight line from 30 to 80. Now you could also do a point, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and talk about that, that particular one. So a uh, point 2D dot double is another component that you could use. And basically all you have to do is is do this guy and now you created a point in one space and you could tell it to go from this point to a second point so it would be this point which is these two components to this point so you could minimize it down to only needing two parameters in here because it will accept it was it's it's overloaded to where it could accept multiple different kinds of inputs okay so now we're going to talk about uh, drawing text and I believe this is in there. Okay, uh, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to um, g2 dot draw string. Oops. Uh, hello world. The exclamation mark. and then its position. So when we do this guy, we run it. Oops. Oh, that would help. So there you go, then it says hello world there. So uh, let's go ahead and go over color and finish drawing the face. So we have the line 2D, we got the head, we got the mouth, now we want the eye, but we'll, we'll do some eyes here. So we're going to say g2.setColor and then of type color.green. So I'm pretty sure you could have multiple colors here. So you do here, and here are all the finals. So anytime you have a final variable, they're always caps. Uh, we'll go over final variables uh, more as these tutorials go on. So we're going to say final red. Oh, whatever. Let's just type it in rather than looking for it. Uh, R E E or R E D. So set color dot red, and we're going to want to import that package. And now, after we set the color, we are going to do a rectangle. I equals new rectangle 25 70 15 15 now it's going to use the line the line is going to be green but we still want to fill in the eye so we're going to fill the eye in and then we're going to say i dot translate so get that same component and double it and put it in a different position so we could set the eyes apart so we want it to change 50, so it's 50 units over to the right and does not translate down any. And then we're going to want to fill that eye as well. So now when we run it, wait, this is supposed to be green. Sorry, this is green. You do whatever color you want, doesn't really matter. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to draw this guy after this guy so it doesn't change the color before we get to it. Oops. Oh well. There we go. See now everything else is black and Hello World is still green because we need to set that glass color to G2 dot set color color dot blue. Okay. So now we set that color. Uh, we have the eyes filled and we got the mouth. So that's basically it. But we want to draw when we draw the mouth 
we want to set it's g two dot set color, and we're going to want to call that red. Oops, color dot red. There you go. There's a face, just like that. And uh, we're using here. Let me pull it down. So we're using string text here in blue. We drew a line in black, ellipses. We drew two cir two squares with the line is is green. So you can change the outline by not setting the color. So there you see the outline is in green as well as the fill is also in green. So you can change it as much as you want. So so let's talk a little bit about what we learned here cuz the main reason is not actually drawing the point of this video the point is to see that we're using another library that has things already built inside so here we have final variables or constants in there of type green red that probably store rgb values and you see that the set color takes in a a color class dot red and it probably send returns something and it goes in here and then also you see some other ways that it's set up 30 here x y start uh, starting x starting y starting at uh, ending x and ending y so so this is used a lot and, and you'll see in a lot of my other tutorials this is used in almost everything that draws stuff you have an x and y component where they start or an x y component where they end and then you have the size for example here and you have the color so a, almost most programs have the same exact setup as this too color and the constant of red green blue yellow uh, black brown whatever and then here we we see the you know draw a string in hello world 5 setting the setting the draw color and then it draws it so we'll be seeing a lot of this in uh, uh, maybe not so much of swing because we're just going to be drawing, you know, buttons. But it's going to have pre-mapped buttons and stuff like that, and text fields and uh, and text fields that we can mess around with. So you're definitely going to see more of this, and uh, also a lot more of this in swing. Obviously, we're not going to see this in um, in data structures because that's all still using console. So uh, this is uh, basically it. This is what we got here. Um, for for drawing, so this is another intro into uh, into Swing, and we're gonna go and be creating interfaces and GUIs uh, from now on, um, or or we might touch more back into drawing if if you need to uh, get it all cemented in. So yeah, so this has been uh, Stephen from Legit Tech Tutorials, and like thank you for watching uh, Advanced Java Tutorial Number Twenty Three. I will see you guys in the next video, and. Uh, Subscribe for more videos in this series and other series like it, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.